On a cold February night back in 1993, a Noblesville apartment complex goes up in flames. A pregnant young mother and her son don't make it out alive. Investigators later determined somebody said it on purpose. Here we are more than two decades later, and they're hoping new attention on the case will finally bring some answers. And tonight at 559, our own Alan Carter tells us what police are now doing to find who's responsible. Well, that fire happened in the building behind me 26 years ago, killing this mother and her young son. And police say they have no doubt that it was intentionally set. It was just before 3 in the morning when the fire ignited at the Noble Manor Apartments. People jumping out of windows to escape with their lives. And we all started running out and the, the, I mean, the top floor of the middle building was just in flames. The whole hallway the, the center of the apartments was on fire. At that time, there's people hanging out the front windows and stuff. Two did not make it. 22-year-old Hope Brewster, who was pregnant at the time, and her two-year-old son, Jacob. Investigators believe the fire started in a hallway and was arson. Who and why was a mystery then? I'm still bewildered with that myself. And is a mystery now. It's quite horrific. Yes, absolutely. Kevin Jowett is the current Noblesville police chief. But this has been a complete fresh start. Let's take a whole new look at this with fresh eyes. It has new detectives on the case. One thing they're looking at is a rash of other suspicious fires in the area at the time. Strictly speaking, this was a murder because two people died as a result of a felony that was committed, which makes it a felony murder at the very least, whether they were targeted or not. Investigators are hoping to retest DNA evidence, but more importantly, looking for a witness who can say who killed Hope and Jacob. Lots of things can change as time passes, relationships change. Uh, people find things out that they didn't know. Um, so we're hoping that, that one or more persons who, who can be helpful to us about what happened will come forward. And of course, if you have any information that could be of help to investigators in this case, you're asked to call Noblesville Police. Reporting in Noblesville, Alan Carter, Channel 13, Eyewitness News. That Noblesville arson is just one of many Indiana cold cases. In fact, just last week, 13 investigates took an in-depth look at the still unsolved murder of a Jay County teacher back in 1950. If you'd like to read more about that investigation, you can head to WTHR.com.